Hello everybody, um, welcome. It's been a while since I made a video, but um, I actually disconnected my internet. There you go. <laughs> and I got ripped off. I paid for an expensive phone and a plan, and it's just, it's, we're not even going to talk about that. But anyways, what we are going to talk about today <laughs> is GL multi-draws, multi-draw arrays. It's very handy. Um, what I wanted to do um, was basically use a triangle strip, you know, which you, you get a point and then another point and a point and point. And because basically you draw the first triangle with three vertices and then you draw your next triangle with one vertice connected to the other last two and so on and so on. Okay, and their friends and their friends. <laughs> basically, once you start this, what I wanted to do was go from one side of the screen to, to the other and then all the way down and fill. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> just fill the whole screen with hiccups. Um, so anyways, <laughs> instead of doing a, a loop and calling draw areas with tri <clears throat> excuse me with triangle strips so many different times, and then within that vertice within the same vertices um, array that you declare all of your um, points and colors, you would specify the first and the length and blah blah blah. Well this way you just tell it how many times you want to draw an instance, which is one triangle strip. In this case, I'm drawing 54 triangle strips because it because it takes because I, I calculated the length of drawing 54 of them and or drawing uh, 20 pixels, I believe it was. Yeah, so 1080 divided by 20. Anyways, and then um, so you fill an array first index in this case with an unsigned integer array. With, um, with basically the index where you want it to start uh, redrawing the triangle strips every time it starts. So in this case, because it, we go across 96 vertices, <coughs> and then we go down to a uh, zero and one, there's a zero row, a zeroth row, and a oneth and a one row. Uh, oneth. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so that's 90, 192. So we just, yeah. Anyways, this is how I did it right here. You set up your, vert, your vertices with your x coordinate. Whoosh, I will leave the math to you. The y coordinate, okay, I'll show you even that right there. The y coordinate and the z coordinate, which is always zero in this case, because we're, we're not quite yet into the 3D stuff, but we will soon, very soon. <clears throat> and then we've got the random colors, of course. So as it goes, it goes bump, 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 all the way across. Then it goes down to the next row. But with each, you know, with each row, we're setting a new index for the beginning of the triangle strip. And then the length of the triangle strip is also a unsigned integer array or an integer array, whatever, because when you make the call to actually draw the arrays, you're sending multi arrays, multi draw arrays, this triangle strip, which tells it I want a bunch of triangle strips. And then it says, okay, we need the arrays to define the first index within the vertices array that you sent within the vertex buffer, excuse me. And so I send it that array in first index, okay, which goes through this loop here and it just 0 to 192, um, 2. 86? 84? Okay. 94? Okay, anyways, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. 84. And then the length, which is all, they're all 192. Okay, each one is 192. And then we fit sorry. Okay, enough showing. Enough showing, let me tell you. Enough telling, let me show you. Oh, build it. What did I change? Is it not going to work? It's not going to work. No. So then it fills the screen, and it's just one call which is really handy and awesome. So, um, Anyways, I hope that helps some people who are trying to draw multiple triangle strips on the screen. I'm probably going to do one of these with triangle fans because I'm kind of excited now. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and comment in the section below the video, dude. <laughs>